What's going on? This is Chad with Monday Scientific. Today we're going to talk about the Olympus BX46 from Olympus Evident. Uh, this scope's really popular for pathologists and cytologists, and uh, when you get it, it's going to be all bubble wrapped up. Uh, the stage is going to be taken off, so let's take the three millimeter Allen wrench out of the back, and we're going to go ahead and put the stage on. You're going to want to make sure the focus is all the way up if the objectives are on, so you don't hit them when you're putting the stage on. Uh, lock it on down. And these objectives, they can be moved in whatever orientation you like. Most folks go from the two, they turn it like that, and then 4, 10, 20, 40. Some folks like to go the other way. So you can feel free to move the objectives to whatever orientation you like. All right, next we're going to talk about the head. So I've got two heads here. This is going to be your standard tilting head. This is going to be the most common that go on this scope. It's going to have a flange right here. Just lock it on down. I always tighten the screw with one hand on the head in case you don't get it on the flange and give it a little wiggle before you um, take your hand off of it to make sure it's good and secure. What you don't want is to remove your hand and the head fall, then you're going to have a bad day. So let's take this one off right here and then show the tilting lifting head. Uh, same thing. This flange is going to be kind of in the middle. So just kind of make sure it's on there. This one you really don't want to take your hand off of because it's a little bit more kind of a different shape. It's a little bit harder to find the flange or see that you're locked on because um, it's kind of hidden. This head is great because you can slide it forward, slide it back for ergonomics, and you can also lift it up and down and tilt it. So that's how you put together your Olympus BX46. If you got any questions, you can reach out to us at mondaymicroscope.com or microscopemarketplace.com if you're looking to purchase one of these. Thanks.